Hello, class. Hello. Hello, class. You hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, Carla. Great seeing you. You hear me well? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. Welcome. Good, good evening, teacher. Hello, Viva. Nice seeing you, too. Here I am again. All right, good. Okay, you see, you hear me, right, guys? No problem with, with the microphone. We can hear you. Okay, all right, all right. perfect. Okay, pretty good. Uh, hello, Wendy, Paola, and Carla, Remy. Hello. Great seeing you. Hello, guys. All right, Catherine, Lisbeth is online as well. Jorge, hey, white, we are wearing in, in white. Jorge and I, we are wearing in, in white, white shirts. All right, good. And you too, Ivan, you are wearing in, in white too. Good. Okay, hey guys, uh, did you did you spend uh, a good a good weekend this uh, previous Saturday and Sunday on Friday? Did you spend it good? Did you spend a good a good weekend Saturday Sunday? Uh -huh. No, no, no. You didn't have a weekend. You didn't have weekend. Come on, guys. You didn't do anything interesting during the weekend? No movies, uh, TV series, uh, going to the park, maybe. What, what did you do on Saturday or Sunday? What activities? Teacher, uh, in my case, uh, on Saturday, I was working with my students with a rally or Rally, physical rally, and competition. Oh, oh, right. Uh, racing. Rally. You are talking about racing, racing cars. Ah, okay. That's interesting. That's cool. I like rallies. Yes. Okay. Uh, I do All right. You were working on that on Saturday. And Sunday, Ivan, what did you do on Sunday? Uh, in the morning, I was in my church. In the afternoon, in my house, with my family. All right, resting. I uh, yes, resting. All right, pretty cool. All right, great. Sophia, hello, Sophia. Great seeing you online. Hello. Hello, hello. What's up? What's up, guys? Okay, George, Jorge. Any anything interesting during your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Uh, my weekend fue, was uh, very boring because uh, the uh, the weekend I was only working and checking of the social media and create of uh, advertisements. Oh, all right, advertisements. Advertisements. Yes, advertisements. Oh, okay, but you should find uh, a little while away from work. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Okay, guys. All right, uh, let's see. Melissa is sick. She is going to be listening in the class. And uh, what about you, Carla? Anything interesting during Saturday, Sunday, Friday? My weekend was very hard because my community doesn't have... Didn't have water service of water. Oh. And many times, uh, how can I say acarrear agua? Ah, oh, you can you can say take take water or fix water. Okay. Take take. And I have a uh, back pain. Oh, that's why. Okay, I'm really sorry because of that. All right difficult weekend for some of you okay guys pretty good to see you we are going to have a class uh remember how many classes are we taking at this moment how many what what class number is is this one it's five, uh, it's course, five. Right? five. yeah that's right because we have only four during the week 
Okay, pretty good. Uh, you see my, my screen, my monitor? Yeah? You do? Yes. Okay, very good, guys. Uh, this is the... Ah, oh, come on again. No, no, no. This is sometimes that I hate when that happens. Come on. But I know how to fix it. Just give me one moment. I'm going to reopen your class today. Okay, number five, here it is. All right, the document, it's loading, there it is. Okay, class number five, welcome. All right, we are gonna pass this. We don't need it in this moment. Okay, pre-advanced model one. Today, we are gonna practice this. Can you read the title, uh, Carla? Request with model. If clauses in zero. All right. Uh huh. Would okay. okay. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Would you make me a favor for tomorrow? Ah, sure. What can I do for you, Carla? What do you want me to do for you tomorrow? All right. Pretty cool. Like, let's see. These are two guys having a small conversation. Question one is, could you make me a favor for tomorrow? And the answer is, sure. No. What? what? What can I do for you? All right, that is a request. All right, check. The word in purple is a moral. Remember this uh, from a previous course? Could, right? And we have the word in purple, can. All right, those are models. We are gonna check how to use them for requests. Okay, let's see, Ivan, can you help me with the definition of a request? Yeah, so pol politely, politely or officially asking for something. All right, very good. What's a request? What's a it's, request? It's the act. The act. Of politely. Of politely or, or official, officially. Officially, uh -huh. officially asking for something. Or asking for, for something to do a specific thing. Okay. What is, what is the guy requesting? Question one. Could you? Podrías hacerme un favor uh, mañana? All right, yes. Could you make me a favor for tomorrow? Is that polite or not polite? It's polite. It's very it's polite. It's a lot, a lot polite, correct, because of could, podría, right? Very polite. And the girl, what, what, did, what did she say? Sure. Sure. What can I do for you? For you. Okay, can is formal, but is less, less formal than could, but is formal. Okay, next. All right, there is a definition. Uh, can you help me, Sophia, please? What? What models can we use? Mm -hmm. Next. What models? What models do you remember? Okay. All right. Do you remember more models uh, from other courses that you study? Because could is a model. Can is another model. Do you remember any other modal verb that you can use? Would. 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 Ah, correct, may. Right? Ah, may. May. Hey, may, I may I go to the bathroom? May I go? Correct. May is a very formal as well. That's right. Would, uh, may. What else? No might. More? Which one? Might. Go. Might. Okay. Go. Might. It's a model too. All right. Which one even? Which go. one? Else? Can. Can. Could. Yes. Uh, would as well. Very good. Those. All of those are models. Let's see. What structures can you use when when requested? 
we have the normal, the normal request. Okay, what is the structure? Uh, let's see, uh, Jorge. Okay, don't 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 type or don't write. I will show you after the class um, about this presentation. You can have it. So don't worry about writing. Okay. Uh huh. Tell me, uh, Jorge, what is the structure for a normal request? Uh, the normal pairs plus subject. Plus verb plus complement. Okay, very good. The moral verb is first, then the subject, the verb and the complement. Okay. And we can use requests with the word if. What is that? Uh, let's see. What is that, Luis Carranza? What is the structure with if? With Please? if is a um, model verb plus subject plus verb plus if subject plus verb plus complement. All right, very good. Okay, check. There is if. We are going to practice with uh, some examples. That's right. Okay. In number third, in third place, we have request with a gerund. And that is similar. Very similar. Moral verb plus yeah. uh, plus the subject. Moral verb plus the subject plus a verb. And instead of if in this place, we use gerund. Plus verb plus complement. Those are the three that we can use. Okay. Indication, uh, please, uh, Catherine, what is the indication on this slide? Let's learn how to make requests with models. Okay, let's learn how to make requests with models. Okay, I'm going to click on this link. All right, just give me one moment. Uh, the link. Just let me check. Ah, it wasn't activated. That's why. Right. Okay. Now it's loading models of request. Let's check. Um, can you help me, please, Ivan, in this portion for the reading? Okay. Mm -hmm. Model of request when we want to ask for things. Order at a restaurant. Invite people. Continue, Ivan. Uh, it... Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Invite, uh, invite people. people to meeting, to meeting or to our home. Make offer. We use more for requests. We use model to make requests sound more polite in English, making the request short and direct is considered cons considered 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 quite impoli impolite. It's much better to use a longer version of the request by using models of requests so that the request is less direct and therefore. Consider, consider more polite. More polite. Okay. Just remember one thing. Models uh, of request, they may make you sound more polite when talking with people. Is this polite? What about, let's see, um, hello, Romeo, great seeing you, and Melissa as well. Uh, Sofia, is this polite? If I ask, hey, Ivan, uh, Ivan, bring yeah. me, bring me, bring me the control, please. Is that polite? No. No, right? It's impolite. Okay, that is kind of, kind of rough, impolite. How can you make it in a polite way? How can you request that Ivan 
brings you the control. How can you do it in a polite way? An example. Could you could you give could me the control, you? please? Ah, right. That is that is polite, right? You are using the model. Could you? Okay, hand 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 me out. You can use hand me out. This is a verb. Hand. What is hand out? To pass. Using your hands. Could you? Can you read it? Could you hand me out the remote control? Ah, that, now the thing changes because this is very polite. And at the end, you can add? At the end? Please. Please, right? To make, to be more polite or to make an, an emphasis. Okay, very good. That is how you can do it. Good. Next, uh, let's see. Please to help me, uh, Sophia, with these two examples. Lend me. Lend me some money. Direct request. Okay, that is very direct. Hey, Sophia, lend okay. me lend me a hundred dollars. Do you have a hundred dollars for me? Lend me. It's like a sounds like an obligation, right? Hey, lend me, lend me, prestame, lend me ten uh, ten dollars, for example. But that is direct. How can you make it? Indirect request, Sophia. Could you lend me some money, please? Ah, okay, very good. See, that is the difference. Direct request, no polite. Indirect request, very polite. Okay, got it? Yes. Now. Let's yes. continue with uh, -da 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 uh, 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 Francisco Antonio. Help me with the next. There are there are four basic models of requests that we use: can, will, could, would, and may. For offers. For offers. Very good. Continue. More. More formal. Would and could. Okay. Less, would and could less more form formal. Yes. yes. Less less formal. Will and can. All right. Very good. Uh, an example with the will requesting for something. An example, guys, using will. Will is a model too. Could you give any example using will, please? Examples? No. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. No one. No one. Okay. Don't worry. We're gonna practice. There, there, there will be some. There will be somebody is they waiting for me? Will Will it be somebody where helping for me? I heard. Can you repeat it? Repeat it. Maybe. Repeat it back, please. There will, will be, be there will be hmm? something waiting for me. Something someone. Something ah uh, someone, yes. Someone will sorry, be someone. someone waiting for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will be someone waiting for me. Uh okay. It's the example is fine. Yes. But this is direct. This is direct. Okay. Example. How can you be more polite? Do you know A and do is is uh, is moral do for questions? Moral or no? Do. Guys? What do you think? No. 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 It's formal. It's yes, it's formal. You can use it. Do you know if 
check. This is number number two from the structures. Check. If I am using if, do you know if there will be someone waiting for me? Check. You are using do in a question for a request. Hey, do you know? Lisa, do you know if there will be someone waiting for me? Is this more formal than this one, guys? Yes or no? Yes. It is, correct. This is more formal. Check. Do you know? Than this one. But this one is correct. Okay. Continuing with the link, we have some sentences. Can you please read them? Alejandra, can you read them, please? Number one. Would you open the window? All right. Will you pass me the potatoes? Mm -hmm. Will you lend me some money? Can I borrow your pen? Okay, very good. That's it. All right, continue, please. We have a small paragraph. What are modal verbs? Modal verbs are used to add more information to the main verb. They are always followed by the main verb in the infinitive form without to base form. Also, modal verbs don't change their form meaning you don't add S, A and G, or E, D to them. To them. Okay, modal verbs, no rules. No S, no I and G, no, no E, D for the simple past, no nothing, because they are special. Isn't that cool? That is cool, no rules. Hey, no rules like simple present, simple past, Great, there are no rules for this, right? Uh, in the example says, can. Can she come over? Can she come over? That is the correct one. Check, incorrect, this one. You don't need to use letter S in the modal verb and neither in the main verb in the sentence. Can she comes over? No is normal check the verb is normal and the moral no rules easy or difficult uh -huh. easy or easy. Kind of easy? Easy. Easy. it's easy yes no rules no rules at all only be careful with the order okay but we are gonna practice okay would you would you you open, open, the open the window. Would you open the window next? Could you open the door? All right. Can you let me five dollars? Ah, five dollars. Of course, I have five dollars, but a hundred, no. Okay, but five dollars are okay. Yes, I can. I can. Okay. Next. Will you give me? Will your, you give me, give your, me jacket? your jacket? All right. Check. Like the similar example, uh, will will be anyone or, or someone waiting for me? But this is more like more direct. But it's a with with a modal verb as well. It is correct. All right. Okay. Next, affirmative, Carla. Affirmative question with modal or request. Okay, we are gonna check on the affirmative. We. We for affirmative questions by placing the model first, then the subject of the question. And finally, the verb is its in base form. Okay, check. There is what you need to follow. Moral number one, moral verb. Next, then? Subject. The subject, check. It is the same here. Moral verb, subject. 
the verb and the complement. And that's it. Question. And the question, and finally, finally, finally. Finally, the verb in its base form. In the base form. Okay. Uh, the example says moral plus the subject plus okay. the verb in the base base form. Okay. Question. Would you? Would you like something to drink? Ah, for example, in a restaurant, right? Uh, would you like something to drink before you order? Sure. Right? This is typical in restaurants. Next. Could you take a look at my homework? All right. And when someone is checking what you are doing as a homework. Next. Would you give me my money back? <clears throat> the five dollars but you i lent them to you yesterday and you are charging me today <laughs> okay pretty pretty soon hey wait wait a couple of days i don't have them in this in this moment all right next can you buy me a soda ah uh, sure no problem i can i can buy you a soda all right very good okay um this is another example that you can use. Would you? Mind. Ah, would you mind? mind? This is this one, guys. This is with if. What is if? What's if for you? What does it mean if? See. See. Okay, but if in this case is for conditional. Let's this check. Means... Revisemos. Would you mind plus Fair ing. ing when we want to make a polite request in mm -hmm. English? We can use the phrase would you mind? Would you mind? What does it mean? Would you mind? Te importaría plus if. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Plus if, how do I say? ¿Te importaría si vengo más tarde? In English. Uh -huh. I come late. If. If I come late. If I come late. Very good. That's it. Hey, would you mind if I come late? But in a question, right? As a question, because it's like a request. It's a polite, a polite form. Okay, very good. Let's go back with examples. Uh, example one. Would you, Would you, you mind passing me the book? Ah, okay. Would you mind passing me that book? But after, would you mind? The verb is. ING. Pass. Passing. Ah, but teacher, why you wrote in this in this example after mind and you use if? Why is that? Why? Because when I use if, no gerund. No gerund if you are using if. Check. Now, you, can you make it in the gerund, in the gerund structure, guys? The same, the same sentence. Mm -hmm. Example. Would you, would you mind if I come in late this week? Mm, would you mind? Would you mind? Coming. Uh -huh. Coming. Coming late. Would you mind coming late? Uh, let's change it. Instead of late, what is the opposite of late? Early. Early, yes. Because it has a better, a better context. Okay. Would you mind coming early? There it is. Check. Jerun. And with the clause if, 
no gerron. And the base form. This is the base form of the verb. All right? Check. No subject. No you, no he, etc. All right, let's check more. Number two. Would you mind? Would you mind? Turning down the TV. All right, turning down the TV. Next. Would you mind being more quiet? Would you mind being? Being. More quiet. More quiet. Being. All right. What is the translation of this? Mm -hmm. Translation, please. Any translator? Future translator? What's the meaning? Te importaría ser más. Uh -huh. Oh. Estar más. Estar más callado. Estar más callado. Más tranquilo, más callado. Más tranquilo. We don't say. Más tranquilo. No decimos. Te importaría estando más tranquilo. Estando. No, estando no, because this is not progressive. This is. This is a request with. With moral. moral. With if clauses and gerunds. Yes. This is not uh, pressing continuous. Pressing continuous is different. Okay. And finally, would you... Would you mind shutting the window? Would you mind shutting the window? All right. Uh, how do I say... Te importaría si terminamos aquí? The class, ahorita. No, right? That's, that's a request that I cannot do. <laughs> but the example, what is... How is the example? Te importaría si terminamos la sesión. Finishing. Correct. Would you mind? Ajá. Finishing. The class right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah. Okay. One option. This is a one option. Correct. Right now. Ah. Uh, yes. I wouldn't mind. I can't. Sorry. I can't. All right. That's it. Uh, how do I say? Uh, ¿Te importaría continuar with, with explanation? ¿Con la explicación? Ajá. Uh -huh. Would you mind continuing? Correct. Would you mind continuing? Continuing the classes? All right. The class? All right. Yes. No problem. I glad about it. All right. You can also use the phrase do. Do you mind? Do you mind? You have two options. You can use would you mind or you can use do you mind with auxiliary. However, sin embargo, however, this phrase is less polite, less polite, polite than, than would, you mind. would you mind. But it's polite. But it's a little bit less. Un poquitito me. All right. Uh, example? Do you mind closing the door? All right. Do you mind closing the door? Sure. Not a problem. I will close it. That's it. All right. Guys, any question about these, uh, these three structures? The first structure is normal. Check. Moral verb, subject, verb, and complement. Next, the moral verb plus subject plus the verb and if. Okay, remember, if, no ing. Subject, verb, complement. And finally, moral verb, subject, the verb, the gerund. Check. It is the same. The same rule, but in words, using words. Questions at, at, at this point? Any doubt? Any question? We're going to practice in a moment. Don't worry. But I want to know, I want to know if you have any doubts. Okay. Let's, let's practice a little bit. Uh, all right. Can you continue with, with this, with this part, uh, Francisco? With this one, please. 
please, when using models of requests, we can place please either after the subject or at the end of the sentence to make the sentence more polite. Ah, okay. The place of please is optional. Is optional. You can do it at after the subject or at the end. Check. Would you? Would you please shut the door? All right. Check. Please after the subject. Next, the opposite. Would you shut the door, please? Check at the end of the sentence. Both ways are correct. With with could. Could you? Hello? Could you please? Hmm? Could you please take our order? Ah, uh, sure, sure, I can. Or you can say. Could you take our order, please? All right. Okay. And the same with can. It is the same. Check. Please at the end. And please after the after the subject. The subject. Yes. After the subject or at the end. No problem. The same with will. That's the same thing. The same thing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Also, we have in negative. Teacher in negative, how can I make a request in negative? If when using model of request, we'd like to ask someone not to do something. We can place not. Where does it go? Donde va? Where does it go? Antes. No, antes del verbo. Before, correct. Before the verb. In negative. <gasps> Let's see, negative. Can you read it, guys, in number one? Would you? Would you not speak so loudly? Would you not? Would you not speak so loudly? Okay. How is that? Would you not speak? ¿Qué quiere decir? Me importaría no hablar tan fuerte. Uh, about it's not do you mind or it's not do you mind or or the, the previous one. No es do you mind. Would you not speak so loudly? Podrías no hablar tan fuerte. Podrías no, correct. Because would is podría, right? Yes. Pero acá okay, como es negative, podrías no, correct. Very good. Next, could, would you? Could you not smoke here? Okay, in restaurants, right? Next, will you? Would you not spend all the money? All right. And finally, can you? Can you not make so much noise? Noise, all right. Can you not make so much noise? Okay, instead of request, you can use uh, imperatives. Do you remember in imperatives, guys, in negative? Who remembers imperatives in negative in English? Remember that topic, imperatives? <laughs> Teacher, what are you talking about? Don't make any noise, please. This is an imperative. Okay, we, we sometimes use them. They are easier. They are easier than these structures. Okay, because these ones are not very common. They are more common if you use uh, imperatives in negative. Hey, don't make noise. Hey, don't chat. Uh, pay attention to the class, affirmative, pay. Don't play in the house, for example. Those are imperatives. Okay. Uh, next, answering. Request. Answering requests. Uh, can you read it, please? Let's see, Romeo, in this paragraph. We can answer. Yeah, we can answer requests using short answers. Short answers have a very simple structure. structure. To answer affirmatively, we use yes, and then we add the appropriate 
appropriate subject, pronoun, and the modal verb can or will. To give a negative reply, we use no. Appropriate subject, pronoun, and modal verb can't. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, very good. Thank you. But that is simple. You can say yes. Yes. Yes, I can. Yes, yes I, I can. can. Yes. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. No, According I can't. Negative. No, I can't. No, I okay, can't. no, I can't. Uh, but be careful with no, I can't. For example, you can make this. No, I can't. Look at my expression. No, no, I can't. I, I don't want to help you in other words, right? Or you can do this. No, sorry. I'm really sorry I can't. Okay? Like, that is different. How you say it makes a difference. Como lo dice. Right? That's the difference. All right. Uh, and no, no, no I, I won't. won't. You can also answer using won't, but it is considered very hmm? impolite. impolite or rude. Very rude. Okay. Try not to use it. Omit it. No problem. Okay. Uh, next, to make a refusal. Sound. To make a refusal sound more mm -hmm. polite, we can add, I'm sorry, to the answer. Ah, see? Okay. That is true. No, I'm sorry, but I can't lend you $5. I don't have. All right. It's different. Other possible affirmatives. Yes. We have more options. Yes. Certainly. certainly. Yes, certainly. Yes, of course. Of course, I'd. I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. All right, I'd be happy to. Sure. Okay. No problem. Yes. Yes. yes sure. sure. Of, of course. Of course. Okay. Pretty good. Other possible negative answers. No. No. All right, kind of rude. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is better, I guess. Sorry. I can't. Sorry, I can't. I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to, but I can't. But I can't. What is I'd like to in this, in this context? What does it mean? Me gustaría, pero no puedo. Yeah, correct. I would like to, but I can. All right. Uh, all right. Okay. There is more information. Finish checking the website. It's pretty clear, right? Examples, affirmative, negative, responses, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. You have for invitations when you are in a restaurant, etc. Ah, when you order food, check when ordering food. Okay, let's practice too many rules sometimes, the structures, okay. But we can practice a little bit. Let's see online activity. Let's open this link, the first one. There it is. The exercise is about, guys, requests. With models. with models, models, if if clauses and gerunds and gerunds. Okay, the three uh, the three structures. Okay, let's open this. All right, the purpose is that you form the request with the paper words. Okay, uh, what is first when making a request? What's first? Is if is ah okay is let's see if that's true ah okay all right is it okay okay if 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 I borrow correct. 
your camera. Ah, okay, read it one more time. Now complete. Is it okay if I borrow your camera? Uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't have it with me. I don't want to lend it. <laughs> That's something that I would say, depending on the person, right? But that is the request. Okay, pretty good. That's the one. Correct order, if with it. Next, next, next. Okay, P participation is open. You can participate, guys, any of you. Next one. Do you? Uh -huh. Do you mind? Do you mind? Mind. Okay. If I use your car. <laughs> really? Are you going to be careful with my car? Uh -huh. Are you yeah. going to be careful with my car? <laughs> answer. Short answer. Are you going to be careful with, with my car? If I lend it to you? Yes, of course. Ah, sure. <laughs> very good. Yes, of course. Give me that security. In that moment, I will lend you my car. Good. Okay, next. Oh, sorry, Ivan, no problem. All right. What about this one? What's the order? Do you mind? Do, correct. Do you mind? If. if. Uh -huh. Correct, with the clause if. My father. All right. That's it. Drives. Drives. You to work. Drives you. Ah, okay. Check something. Check. My father third is person. a third person. Correct. He is a third person. When you use a third person, in the sentence, you have to use the rule. In this place, yes. In this case, all right? So when you use my father, my sister, my daughter, any subject in third person, the verb should have the rule, the corresponding rule. That's it. All right, very good. Drives you to work? Oh, sure, no problem. Next one. Next, next. All right. What would you? Would you? Oh, would. Correct. Yeah. Would you? You. But you is already there, but no. it doesn't. What's going on? Uh huh. Hey. No green check. Put it. B. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Would it? Would it? Ah, why it? Why in this case it? And no you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's complete the sentence first. Would it be? Okay. Okay. That's right. If I if I uh, if I picked you tonight. Pick picked you, you up. Correct. All right. Up. Now complete. Read it complete. Would would it be okay? okay. Would it be okay if I picked up tonight. All right. It, you have to use it because of B. Would it be okay? Okay. No subject, for example, no subject for, for animals. No subject for she, no for he, for they. It is like the subject for a situation. All right. Remember. Teacher. It? Hmm? Es como que quisiera decir estaría bien si. Correct. 
estaría bien. That's it. That's the one. Esa es. Would it be okay if I picked you up tonight? Uh, would it be okay if I miss the class? No, it, that wouldn't be okay. No estaría bien. Okay, yes, that is the meaning. Eso significa. Mm -hmm. All right, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's do uh, this one, another one. We have a couple of minutes more. Another, we, another one with the clause if. Okay, kind of similar, check. Is it okay? That's right. Is it okay? If. If. I call you I call tonight. tonight. All right. I call you tonight. All right, very good. That's it. Mm, another one. Would you would eat okay? It, correct. Would it okay? Would it, would it? Let's see. Would it what, be? Uh, ah, okay. Would, would it, it be? be? That's right. Would it if, be okay? If, if I use, I, I use, I use, if I, your video camera. Used your video camera? Ah, okay. Why ED? Por qué en esa ED? Why ED? Would it be okay if I used your video camera? Why ED, guys? Idea? Why ED? In the sentence? It's not simple, past. Ideas? But the bird don't shame in this case. Uh, I don't remember really. <laughs> Ah, okay. You are saying, ah, but teacher, in the explanation, you said the verb doesn't change. That's right. But this is not the main verb. Used is not the main verb. What is the main verb in the sentence? B. B, correct. B. This is the main verb. B. Hey, but teacher, he didn't in, on a second verb. Would it be okay? Estaría bien si usara. Si no tuviera di, significaría in the context. Ah, estaría bien si uso tu cámara de video. Si uso, right? Pero como tiene id, es usara. Like, kind of simple past. Okay? In that context. En ese contexto. But the main verb is normal. Check. B is in the base form. Yes or no? Hmm? Yes. It is. It yes, is in the, in the normal base form. B. All right. Pretty cool. <gasps> How many words? Six, uh, like 10 words. Okay. Would you mind? Would you mind? If. If. If I, I watch, watch, no, 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 it's not one. Would you mind if I went? Yeah, went. When. All right, went. Uh -huh. to, to, to your home. house. Uh huh. To to your house. Okay. To your house. To watch stranger things. To watch things. stronger things. Hey, yes. No, I wouldn't mind. Come. I love stranger things. Hey, have you watched that series, guys? That's a nice series. Yes. Don't know it? Yeah. You know it? Okay. It's right. really cool, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I wouldn't mind. Come. Let's watch it together. Good. Uh, what about this one? Would, would you mind? Lending. Would you mind ah, lending me your car? Jaron, check. I am yeah. is Jaron. That's right. Lending, no subject. Correct. No subject. Lending me your car. Me. Lending me your car. Your car. But the subject is you. But you mean because of the Jaron, 
no any other subject. That's right. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, guys, I'm really sorry, but because of the time, we are going to stop in, in this part. You can continue practicing sentences with the structures in this link using this online activity. They are three. Okay, so you are free to practice the sentences with these structures. Okay, let's see what else. We didn't have anything else to cover until this point, but use the links. The links are for you to practice. All right, uh, let's see. All right, and this part, no, until this point. Okay. All right, guys, uh, do you mind if I finish the class in this moment? Do you mind it? No, teacher, don't worry. <laughs> okay. No problem, teacher. All right, no problem. <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead, adelante, right? Go ahead, etc. Very good, guys. Nice, nice. Good practice. Okay. Uh, see you tomorrow. I will be uploading the, the presentation in, in the Google Drive so you can download it. All right, I think it's already there. Uh, good sleep. See you tomorrow at the same time, and have a good sleep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.